Otec Communication Company is proud to present Audible Big Green Basketball. Tonight's game features the Audible Big Green Lady Green and the Corey Rawson Hornets. Otec Communication Company would like to thank Superintendent Jared Wary and the Audible School Board for their cooperation and assistance in bringing you these broadcasts. Thank you to the following sponsors for your support for the Audible Girls and Boys Basketball broadcast for the 2023-2024 basketball season. A&D Tire and Auto Parts and Express Mart. Altenberger Insurance Agency, Black Angus on Main, Buckeye Exterminating, Cleverdale Pub, Creative Edge Cabinets and Woodworking, Ebel's Butcher Shop, Family Chiropractic Center of Ottaville, Fort Jennings Propane, Fort Jennings State Bank in Ottaville, Geisy Transmission, H&M Machine Shop, Hometown Design, Hopkins Clousing Shader and Vinsassen, J&M Excavating, JR Motors, Tony Lang House Real Estate and Auction Company, Black 16 Catering and Steakhouse, Miller Contracting Group, Miller Precision Industries, Millie's Cafe, Niedeck and Hilvers Insurance Agency, Bodenwiller Milling, Otec Communication Company, the Ottawa Bank Company, Ottawa Hardware Furniture and Appliance, Ottawa Lumber Company, Ottawa Mutual Telephone Company, Stimpke Brothers Tire, Dr. Tom Siefker and Dr. Abby Salisbury, VFW Post 3740, JL Wanamaker Sales and Service, Ray Wanamaker Construction, Wanamaker Savern, thank you so much for your sponsorship for the 2023-2024 basketball season. Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome to L.W. Heckman Gymnasium for the start of the 2023-2024 <coughs> tournament season for girls Division IV basketball. Tonight in this sectional final contest, the Audible Lady Big Green will host the Corey Rawson Lady Hornets. I'm Chris Schimmler. Alongside Matt Big Money Wanamaker, <laughs> Kurt Walker, Aiden Hilvers, we're here to bring you this tournament broadcast. And Matt Wanamaker, first of all, congratulations to you for the eighth grade girls, runner up in the PCL. Congratulations for that. Oh, thank you. And congratulations to your daughter for the big money win last night. Yeah, so, that's a uh, big win there for Evelyn. I'm trying to talk to her all day to see if she'd share a little bit with dad, but <laughs> I don't think she's going to. Yeah, well, maybe someday, <clears throat> maybe someday. No, junior high girls had a real good year. Uh, came up a little short, missed the three at the buzzer to tie the game against Miller City, but all in all, pretty good year. Things looking bright for the big green as you got a good group of kids coming in for next year. That's awesome. <coughs> so, yes. So here we are, Matt. Made it to tournament time already, and the Big Green are hosting the sectional final game here tonight. A little different coming into a gym, you know, 30 minutes where we go on air. We're used to being loud and pumping in here, and it was kind of dead silent knowing that this is the only game in here. So, yeah, a little bit different atmosphere playing your tournament games at home. I know they did it last year, but uh, hopefully good home court advantage for the Big Green and come out with the victory tonight. Well, it was interesting. When I walked in the doors tonight, I walked in alongside the Putnam <coughs> County League Coach of the Year, Vaughn Horseman. So, I didn't know if he was late or if I was too early or what was going on, but uh, here we are and it's, it's tournament time and we're looking forward to this and what a nice uh, approach by the OHSAA nowadays to have these uh, first round or the sectional tournament at uh, the higher seed schools. Uh, really, really good decision by the OHSAA. Yeah, like having it here. Um, it's always good to have a little home corner advantage. Now it's only in sectionals, so the next game, next round uh, will be in Elida, or at uh, Ottawa, excuse me. Then regionals in Elida. So, I mean, we'll see how things are going, but the Big Green should be well rested. You know, they had about what last game was last Tuesday. Yep. That's probably about the length that you were in Florida coming back looking all nice and tan and relaxed. Yes, sir. <clears throat> but no, so hopefully uh, they're ready to go. Knock so, the rest off quick. There we go. So, the Big Green are 17 and 5 this year, 6 and 1. They were tri champs in the Putnam County League with uh, Kaleida and Columbus Grove and Corey Ross and members of the Northwest Central Conference, 6 and 15 overall. Five and three in their conference, and their coach is Wells Fane. Right now, Matt Wanamaker is going to pay a few bills. The Express Mart on US Route 224 in Ottaville opens at 6 a.m. on weekdays and will remain open Friday and Saturday until 11 p.m., featuring quality Valero fuel at competitive prices. The drive through carryout has all the things you need when you're in a hurry, whether it be pop, candy, gum, milk, or bread products. Having a party? The Express Mart has all of your party supplies and refreshments. Looking forward to serving you, our customer, at the Express Mart in Ottaville. And don't forget your lottery tickets. Basketball and insurance. What do they all have in common? Teamwork. Look no further than the starting team at Hastings Mutual Insurance Company and Altenberger Insurance Agency. We work with you to help choose a winning coverage combination, giving you security and protection. Altenberger Insurance Agency and Hastings Mutual are, your, are on your team. Call Altenberger Insurance Agency at 419-453-3424. 
Contact an insurance agency representing Hastings Mutual that wants to see you win. Here at Black Angus on Main, we wish you all good luck to the Big Green athletes in a safe and healthy, successful basketball season. Stop in before or after the games for a delicious pizza or savory steak bites. We offer something for everyone. We always have the big screens on and several drinks on tap. We are also here for you for all your catering needs. Feel free to call us at 419-453-3305. We would be glad to help you. Once again, to the Black Angus, all Maine. Your friends at Buckeye Exterminating wish the Big Green boys and girls all the success this coming season and hard work, dedication, and desire to be the best. Our team makes the same commitment every day to help keep life safe and pest-free from whatever bugs you most. Bats, bugs, bees, or critters, we have solutions that work. Give us a call at Buckeye Exterminating and make your problems our next success. Here at the Cloverdale Pub, we wish all the local schools, especially the Ottawa Big Green and Lady Green, good luck. Stop in any time and have a cold refreshment or a hot sandwich with us. We offer live entertainment, Queen Hearts drawing, and fresh homemade soups during the winter. Plus, there's always sports on the big screen. We love to surround our good people, who we love, to have a good time and go Big Green. Creative Edge Cabinets and Woodworking would like to wish the best of luck to the Big Green girls and boys during this basketball season. Go ahead, give Creative Edge, Edge Cabinets a new challenge. Then see what we can do to create you for your new home. When you want to custom cabinets, as unique as you, Creative Edge Cabinets and Woodworking delivers. From high quality custom cabinetry and just any kind of wood or color to custom furniture, to countertops or granite quartz or laminate. There's top notch at, at Creative Edge Cabinets and Woodworking in downtown Ottawa. Custom woods as unique as you. Matt, I want to give a shout out to my two granddaughters who are listening or watching from Springboro, Ohio tonight. Hi, Nora Thompson. Hi, Emery Thompson. Hope so you guys are enjoying the broadcast. Everybody's watching from all over the place tonight. That's Thanks right. to YouTube. That's right. Paul Paul Chris <coughs> says hi. <laughs> We're moments away here from tipping off this tournament action from Ottaville. And the Big Green, of course, the Putnam County League Awards came out a week or so ago. And Erica Turbin and Carly Turbin, first team, PCL. And some honorable mention with... Um, Brooklyn Kester and Isabel Furley, so congratulations to those girls. Yeah, good accomplishment for them. Uh, good news is three of the four are coming back next year, so that's a good thing for us. Yeah, future's looking pretty bright for Lady Green basketball. And, uh, boy, it just continues here at Ottawa. We've been blessed for a lot of years with some really good girls' basketball teams, good coaches, and uh, it, it's been really fun. It'd be interesting to see what happens next year when they move to uh, seven divisions. That's right. That's right. All right, we're set for our national anthem and then our starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ottaville High School for tonight's girls' OHSAA sectional final between the Lady Hornets of Corey Rawson High School and the Lady Green of Ottaville High School. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. The athletes, coaches, and officials with us this evening are guests of Ottaville High School. Everyone is asked to respect the efforts that each of them have put forth in preparing for tonight's contest. 
We ask all those in attendance to please show courtesy and respect for fellow fans, officials, coaches, and of course your team and their opponent. Please remember to respect the game. The officials assigned to tonight's contest are Mr. Travis Unverfirth, Mr. Mark Steckscholdy, and Mr. Brad Ellerbrock. Welcome, gentlemen. And now for your teams. First, your starters for the Lady Hornets of Corey Rawson High School. A sophomore post wearing number five, Ava Price. A senior guard wearing number 10, Laney Kempf. A junior guard wearing number 21, Allison Stuckey. A senior guard wearing number 23, Chelsea McVetta. And a junior forward wearing number 24, Morgan McVetta. The Lady Hornets are coached by Mr. Wells Fain. And now your starters for the Lady Green of Ottaville High School. A junior guard wearing number four, Erica Turbin. A junior guard wearing number five, Jocelyn Langhouse. A junior forward wearing number 14, Carly Turbin. A junior forward wearing number 21, Paige Turmwald. And a senior forward wearing number 30, Isabel Furley. The Lady Green are coached by Mr. Vaughn Horseman. Best of luck to both teams. All right. <clears throat> All right, Matt Wanamaker, here we go. Tournament basketball, it's amazing how fast the season goes. I see. Starting right now, win yourself what? Two, four, five games the Big Green. And they're sitting down in Dayton. I know one thing, there's a lot of green and yellow in the crowd, both sides tonight. Yeah. I was kind of surprised. Didn't know what kind of draw we'd get from Corey Rawson. That's a pretty good haul for them. They seem ready to go. That's right. Well, it's tournament <clears throat> time. That's why you play it. You never know. You know, we talked about it before the start of the game. Uh, Bigger had a lot of time off. Corey Rawson's coming off their game on Wednesday, so hopefully get the cobwebs and the rust out real quick for the Big Green. Yeah, and you got to be careful with that. Boy, it's just like NFL football. Sometimes those teams that get the the, the seeds and the buys, they come out a little rusty. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so the Hornets have the opening possession. Big Green opening up in man-to-man. Uh, -man. The clock is not moving. There it goes. And a turnover. And a turnover. So I think we already got some extra seconds in this game tonight. Well, I think Skeeter Weber just woke up there. He's retired now. It's like morning <laughs> time for him. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know, sometimes that electronics, buttons can stick. Mm -hmm. Or I chalk it up to being older. I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, he's getting a little crap, I think, over there. <clears throat> yeah, well, there's probably about what? I don't know, 200 people over there yeah. that could yell at him. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the head count might be. All right, so the big green with their opening possession. Carly, or Eric, I'm sorry. Into the lane, no good, and loose ball. Now we got a held ball, and Arrow faces the big green. Big green, 17 and five this year. You know, they've had several win streaks yeah. uh, in their season <coughs> this year. And you look at the five losses for the Lady Green, um, they got beat by some pretty good competition. Uh, Clyde a one point. Was that double overtime to Liberty Benton? That yeah. game they should have gotten. Should have definitely won <coughs> that. Should have definitely beat Kaleida. But sometimes you need games like that to grow yep. a little bit. Keeps you in check. Erica stops and pops and puts it in for the Lady Green. 2 nothing Otteville. 7 6 left in our first quarter. Ooh. <coughs> near, near steal there by Furley. Three. Nice check out by the Lady Green. And Carly Turbin with the basketball. First team Putnam County League to her sister. First team Putnam County League. Nice board, Paige Turnwald. A lot of contact, no whistle. Thanks for joining us on uh, OTEC Cable Channel 78. We're also streaming live on YouTube. Just search Ottaville Telephone Company and there you go. You can listen and watch. Erica Turbin, short on the three. Nice check out by the Hornets. They come away with the basketball. 
And quickly down court. Stop and pop and off the glass for Chelsea McVetta. 2-2's Two our score. Carly Turbin quickly across court for the Lady Green. Ottaville definitely likes to have that up-tempo pace. Spread the floor a little bit. And they definitely don't want that. Turnovers. And here come the Hornets. Long three. Strong rebound down to Carly Turbin. Being trapped on the rebound. Up court to Erica. And another turnover. Three quick turnovers by the Big Green. Nice ball movement by the <coughs> Hornets. Just couldn't capitalize. Now we got a whistle on the foul on the Big Green. Looks like it's going to be on Isabel Furley. Well, Chris, we talked about that uh, rusty start, and I think uh, it kind of real. It takes a little bit in tournament. You know, there's always those jitters, and things feel a little different. Good thing it's at the friendly confines. That usually helps a little. Yeah. Kind of keep your same routine. <clears throat> Jesse Bergai, Brooklyn Kester, check in for the Big Green. Yeah, I think uh, Coach Horstman is trying to pick up the temp a little bit and get, get a few of the Roadrunners in there. 23 is Chelsea McVetta. She now has four, 4-2 four Hornets. Brooklyn Kester, Putnam County League, honorable mention. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebound down to the Hornets. Allison Stuckey cleared it away. Nice shot there by Brooklyn Kester. We'll take that all day. Nice pressure. 5-15 left in our first quarter. Almost stepped on the half court line. And last touch by the Big Green. Erica Turbin back in, Isabel Furley out. So Matt, oh, oh, what's the line? Yes, we're her. going back. We can see that from up here. So the winner of this game will play in the district semis at Ottawa Glendorf on February 29th at 6 p.m. We'll play the winner of Miller City and Lipsick. So if the Big Green win this ball game, they'll be going uh, against a Putnam County League rival. Yeah. Very good for Eric, or Carly. Carly three ball. Five for the Big Green, four for the Hornets. 4.50 left first quarter. Hmm. Ottaville with some token pressure. Just trying to cause a little bit of havoc here for for the Hornets, trying to get the ball off the court as Kendall Schnipke, another freshman, checks in. Getting in for Paige. And Kendall's <clears throat> one of them, you know, freshman. She's played a lot of JV ball, but they've increased her time as yeah. the seasons went along. And very athletic. She and is. She, she's ready. I think she's ready for the game. And it really helps when you're pressing, too, to have that length and quickness. And she just calls that turnover. And got a nice rebound. Yes. Brooklyn Kester, three ball up and in, put it in the box. Second three pointer for the Lady Green. They now lead eight to four. And this pressure <coughs> is paying dividends for the Lady Green. Hello, Ottaville and area fans. Make the short trip to Evil's Butcher Shop located at 17146 State Route 114 in Grover Hill. Find all your need in fresh and frozen meats, deli meat, and cheese, custom butchering, and much more. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30 and Saturday mornings, 8 to noon. Call us at 419-587-3524. It's worth the drive. <coughs> Dr. Brian Saxon is a proud sponsor of Audible Big Green Basketball. The Family Chiropractic Center is located at 271 Northwest Canal Street in downtown Audible. If you're in need of a chiropractic services, whether for an injury, achy back, headache, or an overall adjustment, contact the Family Chiropractic Center at 419-453-2279. Dr. Saxon would like to wish the Audible boys and girls a winning and healthy basketball season. Good luck to the area teams. Matt, I love it when the Lady Green go to this uh, full court pressure like they're set up right now, 2-2-1. Two, two, and uh, it just, they're playing the whole court. Their quickness, their length really gets the tempo going in their direction. And you got to pick, the, you know, they probably have six or seven girls that can play it. A couple of the other girls that are on the bench right now, but it's nice having, you know, Kendall and Jessa out there. Two athletic girls that can really create some havoc. And the other girls are pretty good in their own right. Nice defense by the Lady Green. Brooklyn Kester clears it up to Jessa. Nice pass out to Erica Turbin, short on the three. Big Green going to have to hustle back as the Hornets quickly the other end. Basket's good and a foul. Basket by 21, Allison Stuckey. Her first two. Found the Lady Green was on number four. <coughs> Erica Turbin, her first. 
They turned that missed shot into quick. And that's what you need to do, break the press. No good on the throw. Rebound, Brooklyn Kester, big green, eight. Hornet six, 340 left in our first quarter. Sectional final here from LW Heckman Gymnasium. <laughs> nice look by Carly Turbin, nice job. Kendall Snipke staying after it. And that's one thing sometimes, Matt, you know, the coaches, a lot of talented younger player, freshman players, you know, in all of girls basketball, but boy, that's kind of a big step going from eighth grade basketball, as you know, to playing varsity as a freshman. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. I think her and Brooklyn are doing a fantastic job this year, taking advantage of every minute they can get out there. That's right. <coughs> and, you know, they'll continue to develop, continue to get stronger. And uh, I don't Girls basketball, that's part of it too, you know. Mm -hmm. They get to smacked around and pushed around just like the boys do, so you gotta be prepared for that. Two for two for the big green. Kendall makes both, uh, she'll get a breather. Paige uh, Turner will come in for her. 10-6, Lady Green, up by four. Looking to advance to Ottawa, oh. to the district semis. Turnover, Press did it again. Nice entry pass, pass down there. Good ball movement by the Lady Green going against his zone. Otterville's gonna get the shot they want. Just gotta be patient and don't force it. There you go. That's nice ball movement. Boy, you can't, you can't do it much better than that, Matt, but hey, you gotta give the Hornets credit. <laughs> nice defense. They're playing some really good defense. Good take by Jessa. <clears throat> Rebound down to McVetta. She's done a little bit of everything tonight for the Hornets. Now she's bringing the ball up the court. Almost a steal. Tell you what, Kester and Bergay are making it very difficult for the def offensive players out there. Yes, and as an offensive player, that'll wear you out pretty quick and make you do some things you don't want to do and make you hurry up. Paige Turnwall, up and in. Nice shot there by Paige Turnwall. Big green three of five from three point range early. <clears throat> 13 to six, Otterville with their biggest lead of seven. And almost steal, oh they do come away with it. Jessa Bergai trying to fend off the Hornets. <laughs> I like that one right there. Oh, bounce pass has been perfect right there. Possession stays the big green I think. Yep. So, Matt, a serious question here. Oh You're boy. playing the Hornets. Do you put bug spray on? <laughs> you can't make me laugh, Chris. I already got a call. <laughs> well, you never know. What, what, whatever advantage you can get. I'm sorry. you no. got to take advantage of it. <clears throat> All right. Bigger into basketball. Nice cut. Paige Turnwall with the oh. left hand. Oh, that was a nice play by the Lady Green. Nice left hand shot there. Session stays there with Bigger, nothing hurt. Minute 55 left, Big Green up 13 to six. Paige, a little short on the jumper, got her own rebound. Big Green will reset the offense. Isabel Furley up and in. That's one thing Big Green will miss next year with her. She's a dead eye shooter. She is. <coughs> Honorable Get their shoulders squared up. That's right. Honorable mention, Putnam County League. And as I've said all year, she gets the award for the best looking skids. Love, yeah. Love her tennis shoes. <clears throat> That's Erica second. Got to be smart there. Kurt Walker was calling for a travel from the production truck. It, look, it looked like it from here. Well. <clears throat> As much as we like to change it, I know one thing, it ain't gonna happen. Nope. McVetta, she's been a handful. Stays after it, up and in. Chelsea McVetta, she has six to lead the Hornets. Other way, quickly, Carly Turbin for two. She now has five, the big green by 10. And a turnover on the Hornets. <coughs> Kendall Schnipke in, Paige Turnwald out. Coach uh, for Corey Ross has got to be a little frustrated right now. That's their third turnover in the full court when there's not even anyone putting pressure on them. I think they're just waiting on it. 
Up and in by Carly Turbin. So Wells Fain is the head coach <coughs> for Corey Rawson. I'm sure somewhere along the line, he's gotta be related to Joe Fain. Quite possibly. Uh, star for the Hornets. And uh, Bill Fain, the other Jeez, Hornet star. So you want to see something called there before somebody gets an arm taken off in there. Turnover, Big Green. 20 to 8, Big Green by 12, 33 seconds left. Almost a steal by Jessa Burgai. Good hustle there by Jessa. Oh. I thought she got Ben got all ball. Foul on Jessa. Her first. Brooklyn Kester in for Jessa, Paige Turnwald in for Isabel Furley. 27 seconds left, Big Green with a commanding 20-8 lead. <clears throat> Boy, this game really turned yeah. when Otterville went to the pressure and when Burgai and Kester came in off the bench, the temple totally changed. And I think Coach, Coach Horseman didn't like some of the turnovers, so he changed it up a little. Carly Turbin down to two seconds and stepped out of bounds. Macbetta did. So, Matt Wanamaker, point three, can we get a shot up? Technically, no, it's gonna be a tip. Volleyball How set. How about that? <laughs> that was pretty good. So after one, the Big Green 20, the Hornets 8. Port Jennings Propane, come see us for all your agricultural, recreational, residential, or commercial needs at 460 West 4th Street, Port Jennings, Ohio. Or call us at 419-286-2778. Port Jennings State Bank in Ottoville would like to take this opportunity to tell the athletes of Ottawa School, how proud we are of them, and to wish them the very best of luck for a profitable season. We would be very happy to assist you with any of your banking needs. That's the Fort Jennings State Bank in Ottoville. Geisy Transmission, 640 East Main Street, Ottoville. Full service facility, oil changes, brakes, tune-ups, complete driveline repair. Now selling and repairing tires. Come see us for all your major and minor repairs. ASC certified. Better Business Bureau A-plus rating. Call us at 419-453-3620. Very good first quarter for the Lady Green, Matt Wanamaker. Absolutely. Eight turnovers, Biggin forced. Um, however, Biggin's 3 of 13 from two-point range, 4 of 7 from 3. So the Big Green with the opening possession, looking to build on this 12-point lead. Brooklyn Kester with the basketball. Nice move into the paint. Nice Jessica fake. Burgai, not there. Brooklyn Kester with the offensive board. Big Green will reset. Nice ball side cut there, a weak side cut there by Kendall Snipke. Brooklyn Kester up and in for three. Nice inside out there. Good look by Kendall Snipke to kick it right back out. 15-point <clears throat> lead to the Lady Green. Still by the Green. Quickly up to Paige Turnwall. Whoa. I think she might have lost that one. She did a nice job tracking it down, but uh, just going a little too fast. And here come the Hornets. Turnover. Steal. Turnover number 10. Jocelyn Langhouse in the corner. Carly Turbin up and in. And the Big Green Faithful will take that all night long. Inside out all day. Really impressed the way the Lady Green are sharing the basketball. Good job there by Kendall. Another turnover. Steal Paige Turnwald. <clears throat> Big green defense. Oh, what a pass. Nice, nice. Threaded the needle, Carly Turbin. Everyone at H&M Machine Shop would like to wish the Audible Big Green and the Lady Green the best of luck this basketball season. H&M Machine Shop has been a part of the Audible community for over 45 years and continues to grow in our commitment to offering high quality CNC machining and welding along with great customer service. We are proud to support all student athletes and the coaches. Go Big Green. Hometown Design is your one-stop shop 
for banners, tees, and a whole lot more. Stop in at 115 East 4th Street to see what kind of products they can design or call us at 419-453-2040. Hometown Design is open Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to noon and 2 to 6. Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to noon and 2 to 5, and Saturdays, 9 to noon. <coughs> Hopkins, Clousing, Schrader, and Van Sassens, conveniently located at 191 Northwest Canal Street in Ottaville. They are open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, and Fridays, 8 to noon. We are here for all of your general practice law firm needs. Feel free to contact us at 419-523-6104. We wish all Audible teams the best of luck in the sporting season. So, Matt, as we take a look here at the, uh, we're going to call this the Ottawa District, the Elida Regional. Of course, with the big green win tonight. Unforced turnover again. Big <clears throat> green win tonight. They're going to play the winner of Miller City and Lipsick on February 29th at 6 p.m. at Ottawa Glendor. Now the other part of the bracket, Fort Jennings plays Columbus Grove and Clyda plays Lincoln View. Now that division four uh, district sectional or district semi will be the 29th at 7.30 at Ottawa. Nice job, Isabel. And then the finals for the districts is on March 2nd at six o'clock at Ottawa Glendor. Now, you look at all those teams in there, Matt. Now, Ottaville got beat by Kaleida. We witnessed that game. Let's not talk about that again. Yep. So, Ottaville, number one seed, should. When you say should, you got to be careful with that in tournament. But, you know, if Ottaville plays the way they're capable of, should have a pretty good opportunity of coming out of that district. Yeah. Grove's, Grove's not going to be an easy matchup. That'd be, I believe, finals. Yeah. <clears throat> Furley makes one of two. Give her four. Another turnover, turnover number five of the quarter. Big Green outscoring the Hornets nine to nothing here in the second quarter. You just wonder how much longer Claire Austin will sit back in that two three the way they're just getting any shot they want. <clears throat> well, right now the way, whether they're playing zone or man to man, the first thing they gotta do is start taking care of the basketball. Yeah, they got 13 turnovers. Erica Turbin enters. Six minutes left in our second quarter. Audeville going a little trap in here. Oh, turnover there. Coach Horseman looking for the knockout punch. That ball was right down there in the corner where my daughter usually sits. She's home right now with strep throat, Chris. Well, she's at home counting her money. Yeah, counting her money, doing. too. Get better there, kiddo. I'll be home in a little while. Hey, that's one way for her to learn counting, right? Just e roll exactly, out the yes. Count it up. Good for her. Well, let's see, Matt. By the time she goes to college, what, that might get her a... Get I'd her say a book in an hour. A textbook? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a hamburger? Yes. Another basket for the Big Green. Erica Turbin. So the Big Green on 11-0 around here to start the second quarter. They're going to get uh, two. That's just a second. <clears throat> Paige Dermold and Kendall Schnipp, you come in. 31 to eight, the Big Green running away with it here in the first half. I think uh, Corey Ross and these young ladies are gonna see these white uniforms in their sleep tonight. Yeah. So Matt, you're talking about Columbus Grove, uh, a good yep. matchup in the districts and the uh, Ochmeta, Och Moody, Och Moody girl, just hit a bunch of threes in a game not too long Ten. ago. Scored over a thousand points. Sounds like she's the real deal. She's only a junior too, I believe. And uh, Columbus Grove, boy, they year after year they put out a nice girls program. Three ball, Erica Turbin. Big Green are racking up these three balls. I got them down for two, three, seven. 14 and up and run here in the second quarter for the Lady Green. 34 to eight. Things are getting out of hand here real quick for Coach Wells Fane. Another steal. And a foul. Nice job, Paige Turnwell with the left hand, fouling Ellison Stuckey.
Paige Turnwald with three points. One three-pointer tonight. Got the tie and roll on the free throw. Looking for point number five. Multiple substitutions in both ways. You need to write no. Um, I've never seen the running clock in the first half. I don't know if we might be able to get there. You know, and hard to believe it was four to two at one point. Them. Yes. Yes. Good hustle, good offensive rebound. Brooklyn Kester, three ball up and in. Three threes for Brooklyn Kester. 18-0 run in the second quarter for the Lady Green. We still got 420 left in the second quarter. 38-8. Ooh. Nice pass down low. <clears throat> in the game, Lexi Honeyford, senior. Nice cut by Paige Sternwald. Shot didn't go. Hornets quickly the other way. And a basket for number 25, Addison Duffman. That breaks the 18-0 run here in the second quarter for the Lady Green. Nice move, Brooklyn. Good cut by Paige. Oh. Otterville doing a nice job on the weak side cuts against that zone. And uh, that's created some nice opportunities for him. Paige Turnwald back to the line. Gonna shoot two. And she'll have one more. Soft touch on that free throw yeah. there, Matt. That kind of looked like you back in the day. No purse one in. So. <laughs> well, and she's shooting with the right hand, literally. Yes. You know, Mark Honeyford always said lefty set all the advantages. I'm still waiting for that to pay off a little bit. Hey, for some reason, the only advantage I can see for a left-hander in sports <coughs> is a first baseman. And I don't know why that is, but that just seems to be the right place for a left-hander. And you know, this is the really weird thing to think about, but the one advantage in basketball is most people are right-handed. So if you're a left-hander, that's your strong hand, so when they go to cross over to your right, I got numerous steals doing it that way. Yeah, That's yeah. easy. That's the easiest way, the best advantage I can see that's ever gotten me. Yeah, yeah, it's opposite <coughs> of what people are used to. Yes. Oh. Well, I like that little play there. Throw it off her knee right back to you. Yeah, threw it right off the, the skids. Oh, nice, nice ball movement. <coughs> Up and in. <coughs> 11 for Brooklyn Kester. Eight in this quarter, 42 to 10. Two thirty-five left, nice take to the basket. Shot no good by Caitlin Duffman. Turnover on our Lady Green. Jocelyn Langhouse in. <coughs> Kendall Stipke in. These are one of those games, Chris. Yeah, you want to get to 35, but you want to get out here with no injuries. That's the biggest thing I think right now. <clears throat> Definitely. Well, and the way Otterville's shooting the ball tonight from three land, you might want to save a couple of those for later on as yeah. well. Yeah, we don't need them all. Nice defense, Kendall. Offensive rebound to the Hornets. Nice. Nice job by Jocelyn Langhouse to keep that ball moving. Good job, Kendall. Nice pass. Brooklyn Kester, another three. In and out. Good hustle by Jocelyn. And a foul. The fourth offensive rebound for the Big Green. Yeah, the Big Green pretty much having their way in all aspects of this game. 42 to 10 is our score. 143 left second quarter.
44-10. Pickering 6 of 8 from the free throw line here in the second quarter. Next foul for Corey Rawson puts him at the line. Big Green with a 24 point quarter so far. That'll Ooh. get it done. Ooh, that was off his knee. Her knee, her knee. 24 to two is the score in the second quarter. Ooh, Brooklyn got away with one there. Last touch by the Lady Green. So Matt, if I remember right, on the Audeville varsity, didn't they have a couple girls that were kind of sharing shoes where one had green and yellow on, and the other one had green and yellow on? Mm, yeah. Did they go back to uh, it was, uh, how it was supposed to be? Well, uh, it been Jessa. Was it Jessa in Brooklyn? No, it was Jessa and Avery Beerman, JV player. Okay. <clears throat> and Jessica still has, yeah, she's got one of each on still. She's on the bench, green and gold. All right, well, we surely wouldn't want to mess with tradition. No. At this point, now I think you're stuck wearing them if you don't want to. Yeah. To the lane. Nice take by number 25, Addison Duffman. She'll go to the line. Foul was on Jocelyn Langhouse, her first. Well, folks, out there in basketball land, we have to admit, when it's a 34-point lead, we've got to find other things to talk about as you can continue to watch things develop. But sometimes you just got to, you know, have other conversation about things. Yeah, so when uh, some weird stuff comes up tonight, don't ask any questions or no text messages. It's all about the content and the creativity. As long as we keep it, you know, within OTEC rules. Do we have a rule book for these broadcasts, Kurt Walker? Well, if you ever have any questions, I will tell you, if you just call Kurt Walker at 419-615-9037, um, he'll take care of any concerns that he might have yes, for you. Yes, 24-7, he's available. Yes. He prefers to just keep calling if you don't answer. Yeah. He may be in the middle of changing a diaper or doing something of <laughs> He'll that get nature, back to but, you. Uh, he'll get back to you as soon as he can. <clears throat> Voted the OCHEC Communication Company Employee of the Year several times. And when he designed and built that production truck, that put it over the top. Now, I would like to see a little more creativity in the snack bucket and the wet bar. I'll tell you what, Vaughn used to put uh, chicken wings up here. Yes. That was a nice little touch. Maybe we can work on that for OCHEC. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> well, he did at least expand to a 70-inch TV in there now, so yes. you know we can drive around town and watch sporting events. Now, if you'd like to see us travel with the team, you need to bring that up to Kurt Walker once again, 419-615-9037. Yeah, we're thinking about picking some fans maybe to travel with us. Um, it'll be as cheap as $499.95 per person. And we can just tack it onto your monthly bill, <laughs> paying installments. Well, isn't that how much the monthly <coughs> bill is now? <laughs> I think it's a little less. A little that. less. Mine did go up last month. I don't know why. Cable. Well, um, next year, will this be a Spectrum booth is my question. Mr. Hi Walker says. Highly no. doubt it. Doubt it. Good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Back to the ball game. Nice steal by Jocelyn. Down to 10 seconds. Nice. Isabel oh, fairly oh. off the glass. Nice dish. Well, we have a running clock, ladies and gentlemen. Half quarter. That will do it for one half in the sectional final here from Otterville. Big Green 46, the Hornets 10.
J&M Excavating Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of the local sports community. They have been servicing the area for over 25 years now, specializing in site work, water lines, sewer lines, concrete, trucking, and emergency repairs. Give us a call at 419-453-2143 for all your residential, commercial, and municipal excavation needs. Mike and the crew at J&M Excavating would like to wish all the athletes the best of luck this season. Everyone here at JNR Motors located on Road M Cloverdale would like to wish Audible Big Green and Lady Green the best of luck during this season. Here at JNR Motors, we sell used cars and are always available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Any questions, please call us at 419-615-5798. Again, go Big Green. Tony Langhouse Real Estate has been helping buyers and sellers in Northwest Ohio achieve their real estate goals since 1994. Tony, the only broker and most experienced agent in the Ottawa area, is proud to welcome his son, Jack Langhouse, as its newest agent. Whether you are buying, selling, or in need of an appraisal, the agents with TLREA are anxious to provide you with the top quality professional services <coughs> second to none. All agents are able to show any property listed by any realtor in the state of Ohio, and Tony is now licensed in Indiana as well. This allows you to work with one agent that keeps your best interest in mind at all times. And trust Tony Langhouse and his team of agents for the incomparable service and rewarding real estate experience you deserve. Contact Jack today at 419-233-7911 or tlanghouse at bright.net. Block 16 has been serving Northwest Ohio and the surrounding areas with the finest foods and service for over 40 years. As you are making plans for your awards banquet, company picnic, wedding, or other upcoming events, please take the time to consider Lock 16 to so all make it a memorable event that will delight your guests. Lock 16 also offers home delivered meals that are made fresh daily or delivered right to your front door. Please visit Lock 16 Steakhouse located at 2530 North East Town Road in Lima for the finest steaks, seafood, award winning ribs, and many, many other mouth watering selections. For more information, you can contact one of our friendly staff members at 419-453-3327 or visit our website at www.lock16catering.com. Best of luck to all the Ottaville basketball teams. Another contracting group in Ottaville wants to wish good luck to our Ottaville girls and boys basketball teams for the 2023-2024 season. Thanks to all the basketball players, cheerleaders, coaches, pep band, students, parents, athletic directors, and administration for all your hard work and dedication. We are very proud of our teams representing our great school. Miller Contracting Group 17359 State Route 66 Ottaville is a proud supporter of Ottaville girls and boys Big Green basketball. Good luck, Big Green. All right, we got a little bit of action here. I'm going to do uh, some team stats real quick. Big Green is 6 of 21 from two-point range, 8 of 13 from three-point range, 8 of 12 from free throw line, 8 offensive rebounds, 11 defensive rebounds, and 6 turnovers. Meanwhile, Corey Ross and Hornets are 5 of 12 from two, 0 for 3 from three, 1 of 3 from three-point range, 2 offensive rebounds, 10 defensive rebounds, and as you alluded to earlier, uh, uh, Shimmy, they are being stung with the turnover bug. 17 of them. Big time stinging. And I think on about all them turnovers, the bigger to have capitalized, I want to say on 80% of them. <clears throat> Makes it easy, easy lead. I mean, you're gonna see a quick uh, half, so we probably better start uh, reading some more ads to get to them, or uh, we will be reading them during the game. Yes, I will continue <clears throat> on. Miller Precision, located in Industrial Park in Audeville, is a proud supporter of all the Audeville teams. They offer, they offer a full service of precision meet machining services and have been in business for over 30 years. MPI would like to wish Audible Big Green the best of luck in today's contest. Everyone at Millie's would like to wish Audible Big Green and Lady Green the best of luck during their season. Stop in during the week and try one of our nightly wing specials. We also have freshly made salads, wraps, or try one of our hand-tossed pizzas. Stop in after the game for food, fun, and drinks, win or lose on the court. Everyone has a good time at Millie's. We're gonna take a look at some halftime stats and then we're gonna do a few more ads and then we will get ready for the third quarter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, ready. You're number one. Big Green Fan Auto Owners and Edek and Hilvers Insurance Agency is a winning combination. Kim and the staff at Edek and Hilvers Insurance Agency would like to wish the Big Green teams good luck this season. Your hometown agency since 1955 offers home, auto, home, life, business, and Medicare plans to suit all of your insurance needs. Needek and Insurance Agency, Needek and Hilvers Insurance Agency, is conveniently located at 161 Northwest Canal Street, Nottoe, Ohio. Yeah. Call the office today at 419-453-3448. Chris, We're let's get some individual stats. Yes, individual <coughs> scoring. First for the Lady Green, Erica Turbin with seven. Carly Turbin with 12. Six for Isabel Furley. Two for Jocelyn Langhouse. 11 for Brooklyn Kester. Paige Turnwald with six. Two for Kendall Stipke for a total of 46. Big Green scored 26 points in the second quarter for the Corey Ross and Lady Hornets. Allison Stuckey with two. Chelsea McVetta with six. Addison Duffman with two. And our halftime score, Lady Green 46. The Hornets 10. Well, Chris, we had a lot of big winners again we'll allude to after last night. Uh, Boosters uh, raised some good money for Big Green. <clears throat> I don't know how much they ended up making, but it was good for winning all around. Uh, a Baker won third place. Uh, yes. Evelyn Wanamaker. Uh, she won, came home with second. And then a, uh, I think it was Bailey Wanamaker, another Wanamaker. Fifth grader well, takes home 15 large. Go, Evie. Now make sure you take mom and dad out for breakfast, mm. Evie. Spend a little of that money. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. But I think she's buying uh, rounds of milk for everyone at the uh, Day She'll get daycare, daycare milk daycare. for all Monday. Yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the milk covered, daycare. Don't worry. Yep, she's going to buy a round of milk. That a baby. I love it. Well, congratulations to all the winners, and thanks for everyone for supporting the Audeville Athletic Boosters that bought a ticket. Something we'll do next year, you think, again? I believe so. I believe that is the plan um, to do it again next year. Maybe start a little <coughs> sooner so we can hit hit the uh, amount of tickets that wanted to be sold. Uh, it was uh, five, we sold 292 out of 500. So yeah. hopefully next year we can do better. You know, and the nice thing is, you know, uh, thank you to all the people outside of Audible that bought a ticket. But it was nice to see the first, second, third place winners are all Audible people. Well, and thank you to the <coughs> people that did not show up when their name was called to win $1,000. That's 500 more. And that's 500 more back to the boosters. We have to talk to the boosters about uh, raising our pay, Chris. See if, uh, I don't believe the boosters uh, pay us. I know they don't. I thought maybe we well, could talk hey. to them about starting to pay for us. <laughs> we, this stuff isn't free. We, this ain't free. We are open to all sources of revenue stream. Trust me. We've been contacted by multiple agencies before. Weighing our options like we do every year. Yes. Well, we get back to negotiating in the production truck. We'll get it figured out. We always hammer out a deal. Oh, yeah. All right, Big Green to open possession. Jocelyn Langhouse with the bucket right out of the gate for the Big Green. We are running clock eligible, am I right? Absolutely, they gotta get down to 30 now. That could uh, hurry up the refreshment lines real quick to move this game right along. Jocelyn Langhouse going to put up another one. Rebound down to Laney Kep for the Hornets. You know, Corey Austin played LCC last week. They put up 69 points. So, I mean, that's not a fluke. It's either Big Green defense is playing that good, or they just kind of have them stymied right now a little bit. I would uh, point at the pressure. The defense, the quickness, the length of the big green. And Carly Turbin through the pack. Off the glass and good. <clears throat> you know, there's one thing about girls basketball and boys basketball too for that matter. You can have all the height you want, but you know, a lot of times you'll take that quick, good shooting, good ball handling, good defensive oh. playing guard, you know. That'll win you a lot of ball games. Absolutely in girls basketball. That'll win you a lot. Not many, very many girls are uh, that gherkin from Liberty Benton that can just post you up all yes. day long. Yes. Langhouse, strong on the three. 
So at this juncture, looks like the Lady <coughs> Green are going to be advancing on. Unmiller Milling Company carries a complete line of lawn care products, garden seeds, and camp feeds. Stop in for your grass, seed, and lawn weed killer. Consider calling the Odenwellers when you plan on marketing your grain. Get a price from us for spring planting, including fertilizer, seed beans, and seed corn. <coughs> so the Big Green are going to play the 29th, which is Thursday night. Thursday. Leap year, the 29th. We got a solar eclipse. I mean, what hey, a year. We what got a, a busy year. month and a half here, Chris. Oh, boy. Whew. Once again, any concerns for OTEC? 419 615 9037. Kurt Walker. Feel free to send him a text. So this will be our last broadcast on OTEC for the girls. Correct. We'll be doing the boys' <coughs> yes. sectional tournament final. Because on the boys, Friday. Boys got a I'll tune, I'll tune in down in a pool down in Florida. There you go. Thank you, boys. There you go. And you got to think here, uh, how much longer is Coach going to, you know, keep starters out there? Hopefully we can get out of here with no injuries like we said earlier. Yeah. <coughs> well, part of it's going to play in, as you mentioned earlier, Matt, that Audible hasn't played in a few days. Yep. But my goodness, you don't want to have any injuries. Nope. Oh, in and out. Otec Communication Company offers several TV viewing options. With the digital set-top box, you can view and record many of your favorite channels in high definition. Otec Stream TV offers in-home streaming for all of your cable channels to your own devices, such as Fire Stick tablets and mobile devices. Wii TV Everywhere allows out-of-town home streaming for 70 of your favorite channels from anywhere with high-speed internet. For live demonstration, please stop by our office or call Kurt Walker at 419-615-9037. That's Otec Communication Company owned by those we serve. And again, he is available 24-7. Keep calling. He'll answer eventually. Yes. Turnover. Number so, 18. So, Matt, we look at the boys' tournament. <coughs> Audeville was a three seed. So, on Friday, March 1st, 7 o'clock here at Audeville, they will play the winner of Parkway and Fort Jennings. And if they are fortunate enough to move on, they would then play in the districts March 5th at 7.30. Do we know what site? Is that uh, probably Van, Elida, I'm Elida guessing. Elida or Van Wert? I believe it's Elida. Yeah, I think they go up to, it would be up north of her region. And that potentially <coughs> could be a rematch with Pandora. Yeah. <coughs> that wasn't a very good game last time he played. No, but you know how tournament goes, Matt. Boy, sometimes you like to have that second opportunity. Oh, yeah. Nice bucket there by number 23. So you guys may have saw the article that popped up here by Bob Sagerson in the last week or so. Talked about the 40th anniversary of the eight overtime basketball mm -hmm. game back in 1984. Sure did. Well, I just happened to spend a little time with my brother Todd, who played on that team on our trip to Florida here. And uh, as Erica Turbin hits a three. And he was very quick to point out that he also played every minute of that game. The article alluded to John Diller, I believe, from Columbus Grove, or one of the Columbus Grove players, played every minute. But my brother was very quick to jump up and down and say that was written incorrectly. He also played every minute of that game. Well, that want to send a little message, Mr. Sagerson. Yeah. But, uh, boy, I remember that game. You guys are too young. I was too. Yes. But that was in the old Audeville gym. The place was packed, and it was hot, 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 <laughs> hot in there. That gym was always hot. And uh, as my brother Todd mentioned, there was – in all those overtimes, there was many, many times where that game should have been won, but it wasn't. And uh, and as he mentioned, boy, 40 years. Can't believe that. 40 yeah. years already. Yeah, wow. Audible Bank Company is proud to be part of the Audible High School 2023-2024 basketball season. The Audible Bank Company has been locally owned and operated since 1904. Mobile banking and mobile deposits available. All of your deposit or all of your accounts are at your fingertips. That's the Audible Bank Company with over 100 years of service. Member FDIC. So that eight overtime game <coughs> at Audeville, Columbus Grove won that game 74 to 71. And then they rematched again in the districts and Audeville won. That's a low scoring game for eight overtimes. Yeah. 
Well, as my brother mentioned, there were several missed uh, free throws, um, several missed shots that could have ended that many a times. And the Audible Hardware and Furniture Company is a third generation family owned hardware, furniture, appliance, and floor covering and mattress gallery. We carry everything you need for your home or business. Our friendly sales staff is here to serve you before and after the sale. Please browse our website at www.audivillehardware.com to see what we all have to offer. Celebrating 90 years of business. Now's the time for those indoor fix up projects. Call 419 453 3335 or stop in at the Audible Lumber Company located at 194 Northwest Canal Street in Audible and let us help with your plans. See us, see us to get your steel and fiberglass entry doors to keep the cold air out and the warmer in. We also offer custom home prints. If you're looking to build your dream home, let us help. Call or stop by the Audible Lumber Company Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 to 11.30. We look forward to seeing you. <clears throat> so as we're moving right along here in the third quarter with the running clock, 50 seconds left in the third quarter, 53 to 14, Big Green. Ooh. Nice pass down there to Furley, and one. Nice basket, Isabel Furley. The Audible Mutual Telephone Company offers many enhanced services such as caller ID, call waiting, and voicemail, allowing you to manage your calls and retrieve your messages from anywhere with a smart, with a computer or smart device. The Audible Mutual Telephone Company offers high-speed access to the internet through fiber optics. Stop in the Audible Mutual Telephone Company today for more information, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. <coughs> Isabel Furley, the senior, with a three-point play, the old-fashioned way. She has nine in the ball game. After three, 56-14, Lady Green. Look. Located at 20968 Road M, Cloverdale, Schnippke, Brother and Tires is here to serve you for the residential, commercial, and agricultural tire needs. <laughs> They're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30 and Saturday 8 to 2. Stipke Brothers Tire would like to wish all the area teams, especially the Big Green, a great basketball season. Six fourteen. We're down to the fourth quarter here. Sectional finals. Dr. Tom Seifker and Dr. Abby Salisbury and staff would like good wish to the Ottawa Big Green and Lady Green this season. Let's pull out a victory. Here at the VFW Post 34 or 3740, Ottawa, we not only support the military, we also wish all the Ottawa teams best of luck. We're open seven days a week starting at 2 p.m. Call us at 419-453-3535. Again, go Big Green. Looks like we have a Corey Ross and Hornets fan that won the 50-50. Big shout out over there. So sounds like he might be buying some uh, maybe beverages after the game. Well, you know what they say, sometimes uh, winning can make defeat a little easier. Yes. <coughs> We're a guy with the basketball. Now Erica Turbin figuring with some starters in there yet. So back to that eight overtime game, guys. Uh, Jerry Stecksholy was a coach for Columbus Grove, Steve Norwood for Ottaville. And uh, don't know if many of you folks know Jerry Stecksholy, but what a nice guy. And you talk about sports, you could talk sports basketball with him all day long. Jessica yes, Berga. Yeah. 58-14. <clears throat> Rebound, Furley. Nice look up court by Erica Turbin. Nice take into the paint. Oh, shot was blocked by Duffman. Rejected. Kempf, short on a three. Speaking of old history for Audeville, but Carla Wenzelik's uh, record for most points in a Putnam County history was broke last night by Colin White over at OG. 
That's a nice head. That's a good call. Yeah. What that a stood for a little while. What Almost 30 years. Had. 1993 to 96, Carla played. <clears throat> yeah. Bickering unloading their bench. So you got Riley Ortenberger, Vanessa Hilvers, and Lexi Honeyford, and <clears throat> and a couple others are getting ready to come in. Down to six minutes. It is running clock. 58-14. with the basketball. Honey Ford. Even though it is a running clock right now, you like to see that Corey Rawson is still out here hustling. Yes, they are. He wouldn't drive a car without suspension, so why mow with that one? At Ferris, our commercial mowers set the bar for the first and the only manufacturers to integrate suspension into our mowers. With racing-inspired patented full suspension and integrated cutting decks, you can go faster, cut better, and now get a beat. Whether you're a professional cutter or a homeowner that wants to mow like a pro, Ferris is there with commercial grading mowers. To keep your going strong, visit JL Wanamaker Sales and Service today and set up a test drive. Under five minutes left in the ball game now. The clock is just moving right along. Big Green will play the winner of Lipsick and Miller City. Basket by the Hornets. Give it to number 33, Haley Sparks. 58-16. Fur Austin with the trap. Wanamaker Severn like to wish the Big Green boys and girls best of luck this season, whether it's tacos on one day, Wednesdays, after game specials, or a late night menu. We are your hometown hangout. It's always a good time to go to Wani's for one. Tacos. <coughs> uh, Kurt Walker. Can we get that in the snack bucket for our next game? Tacos. <laughs> I think you guys will make too much of a mess trying to eat those while calling the game. Well, just get soft shell. Yes, we'll that be fine. We don't have to worry about crunchies <clears throat> all over. With all these great ads that we have and sponsors this year, maybe we can get Gordon Food Service to uh, provide us with some free water. And some ads. And an ad. And an ad. <laughs> well, how about that? All of our sponsors that are food related they just lay out a buffet for us. Yeah, and, hey, and you get best food gets a free ad. They don't have to pay for it. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Now, if we can get the beverage providers. Yes, uh, they, we, we might need to be censored then. That if that's we the case. really got it going on. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. Can we put that in the suggestion box? So next next year, Kurt, when they're calling around and re-upping these ads. Let's, let's start uh, inquiring about that. Maybe a little uh, food display and drink display at the end of the year. We can we can always put it in the in the suggestion box. All right, that never hurts. Big Green trying to get another bucket here. Nice job on the offensive boards. Up and in. Haley Sparks. She has four. Two twenty left. It's like the Hornets are kind of stinging the big green right now. And the hands are swelling. Can't catch anything. <laughs> oh, that's yes. noisy. Rowe and Clay with the basketball. <clears throat> Bill of Ray Winter Construction says, let's go Big Green, build up another winning season. Ray Wanamaker Construction of Audible specializes in all types of construction, whether it be commercial or residential. We can build you a beautiful new home, or if your home or business need remodeling, new vinyl or aluminum siding, roofing or masonry work, call Ray Wanamaker Construction at 419-453-2602. For quality construction, contact Ray Wanamaker Construction in Audible for your complete building needs. Bill wishes all the area teams a successful season. Tell you what, fellas, all them ads on a running clock. It's a I'm, lot of work. I'm working, I'm working up a sweat here. You did a great job. Next time you need to segue it into it a little bit better. Oh, no. No. 
I tried to with that clock run, and I can only create so many dead balls. <laughs> Ads are going to be a little sketchy in the fourth quarter. Uh, stats are going to be a little sketchy in the fourth quarter, just so you know. Yeah, thanks again to all of our sponsors. We had record number of sponsors this year, and if you're a business in Ottaville or the area that would like <coughs> to get on that train, we would love to have you. And couldn't make these broadcasts possible without cooperation of, of a lot of people and the sponsors being the big one, and of course OTEC and the school, and then they kind of found us five guys to do these games. I don't know how we qualified or must have did some pretty good auditions, but we're here. You were the only ones that auditioned. Well, if, and if you're actually are looking to become one, an announcer, uh, feel free to call Kurt Walker, 419-605-9037, uh, 24-7, 365, even on holidays, give him a buzz. Yes, he's available. <coughs> I might have to get a new cell phone number. <laughs> I actually have a phone call right now. <laughs> we Thanks, like Matt. That. We <laughs> like that. That means we got one listener at least. Yes, yes. <laughs> we definitely got one listener. Probably not qualified to be uh, doing the games. <laughs> but if we're doing it, then again, anybody is. Good win there for the Big Green as they will advance 58-20. to 20. Congratulations to the Lady Green sectional tournament <coughs> champions, 58 to 20. Convincing win over the Corey Rawson Hornets. All right. 58 to 20. The Big Green run away with it here in the sectional finals. They are going to do the normal cutting down of the net, which is always a cool thing for the tournament winners. And Matt Wanamaker, it was a game that uh, got away from the Hornets very quickly tonight. Yeah. And. Uh, Lady Big Green pressure was just a little bit too much. Yeah, you know, we talked earlier, <clears throat> it was 4-2. to two, And then all of a sudden, Big Green stepped up the pressure. The difference was, from what I saw, when uh, um, Brooklyn Kester and Jessa Burgay came in and just picked up the full court and just forced them. They necessarily weren't getting the turnovers, but making them throw bad passes, letting the other teammates step in and get the steals. <clears throat> well, it didn't hurt. Audible made nine three-pointers. And... Uh, I'm sure if uh, the starters would have played the whole game, wouldn't have had a running clock, there would probably have been many more. But uh, what a good night shooting the ball for the Lady Green. And, you know, it got spread around. Nice job by spreading the basketball. A lot of ladies scored. A lot of them hit three-pointers and uh, shared the ball very, very well. And Coach Horseman and his uh, coaching crew had to be very happy about the performance here tonight for the Lady Green. When you got to think about this too, I mean, putting up 58 points when you had a whole running clock in the second half, I and mean, that's a lot of points. You know, that's, you know, a typical scoring effort of an entire game, and they were able to do that in pretty much three quarters when you looked at the little time they played. Well, <clears throat> it was 20 to 8 after the first quarter, and then Audeville outscored Corey Ross in 26 to 2 in the second quarter, and, uh, that took care of the ball game right there. Running clock in the second half, pretty much. So it was uh, an uphill battle 
all night long for the Lady Hornets. You know, hopefully there's a lot more net cuttings going down this year for the big game for both the boys and girls. <clears throat> That's right. So once again, Otterville Lady Green will advance to the district semis at Ottawa Glendorf. That's Thursday, February 29th at 6 p.m. They will play the winner of Miller City and Lipsick, which was played at the same time tonight. And I don't know who won that matchup during the year. Probably Miller City because they were one of the they were one of the tri champions. I believe of the league, correct? Miller City? Yes. Yeah. So Big Green will be facing off against a Putnam County League foe. And um, as we mentioned earlier, the other part of that uh, district bracket could be Columbus Grove, Fort Jennings, Collider, or Lincoln View. They're all playing tonight at 7. So um, if the seeding comes out the way it's done here, Columbus Grove and Collider should be the other part of that district. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, Miller City was the four seed, so more than likely beat Lipsick. We don't know. So we'll see how that pans out. But congratulations to the Lady Green. They win the sectional final here from Otterville. Final score, 58 to 20. I'd like to give uh, one birthday shout out. Uh, Jay Norbeck turns the big four today. Big Jay, big birthday. Happy birthday. Make sure mom and dad buy you more than what they should. Yes, spoil. That's right. All right, that'll wrap it up <coughs> here from Otterville. And thank you to the following sponsors for your support for the 2023-2024 Audible Girls and Boys Basketball season. A&D Tire and Auto Parts and Express Mart. <coughs> Altenberger Insurance Agency. Black Angus on Main. Buckeye Exterminating. Cloverdale Pub. Creative Edge Cabinets and Woodworking. Evil's Butcher Shop. Family Chiropractic Center of Ottaville. Fort Jennings Propane. Fort Jennings State Bank in Ottaville. Geisy Transmission. H&M Machine Shop. Hometown Design. Hopkins Clousing, Schrader, and Vinsauce in LLC. j and Excavating, j &R Motors, Tony Langhouse Real Estate and Auction Company, Box 16 Catering and Steakhouse, Miller Contracting Group, Miller Precision Industries, Millie's Cafe, Needeck and Hilfer's Insurance Agency, Odenweller Milling Company, Hotec Communication Company, The Audible Bank Company, Audible Hardware Furniture and Appliance or Appliances, Audible Lumber Company, Audible Mutual Telephone Company, Shimke Brothers Tire, Dr. Tom Seifkin and Dr. Abby Salisbury, VFW Post 3740, JL Wanamaker Sales and Service, Rain Wanamaker Construction, and Wanamaker's Tavern. Thank you so much for your sponsorship for the 2023-2024 basketball season. Nice job on the ads there, Matt. Ooh, Way to I'm take done. one for the team. All right, this will wrap it up from Otterville for Aiden Hilvers. Kurt Walker, who again is available 24-7. 419-605-9037. And for Matt Wanamaker, this is Chris Schimmler saying good night and good basketball.